Hello, may God in the heavens guard your life. Psalm 91 is one of the most powerful psalms in the Bible. It is a psalm that has the power to grant you the blessing of protection and also break many chains in your life, in addition to bringing the blessing of protection to your home and your family. And today, we will be praying Psalm 91, and you can be sure that after praying with you, God will bless you greatly. This psalm, I would like you to pray together with me, repeating the words out loud or mentally, so that you can take possession of all the promises contained within this powerful prayer of Psalm 91. Feel free to leave your prayer requests in the comments. For Psalm 91, in particular, I would like you to include the names of your family members in the comments, as this psalm is powerful for the victory of the family and our home. Leave their names in the comments, as I will pray and present them to God. For His glory, we have already formed a great prayer family here on YouTube. I would like you, at the beginning, to leave your like, because each time you do, you are informing YouTube that what you are watching and listening to is something positive for you, something it can recommend to others. Therefore, it is very important that you leave your like. If you haven't subscribed yet, below is the option to subscribe. I would like you to press the subscribe button to receive other powerful prayers directly on your cell phone through YouTube. Prepare your heart, because after this prayer of Psalm 91, you will see God's work, and I have a direction to give you. You can listen to this prayer repeatedly throughout the week. It would be very good for you to listen to this prayer of Psalm 91 for seven consecutive days. Now, I will continue to pray this powerful psalm of blessing, victory, breaking of chains, and family protection. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. He says of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in whom I trust, for He will deliver me from the snares and from dangerous diseases. He will cover me with His wings, and under them I will be safe. His truth is my protection. I will not be afraid of the dangers of the day or the night, nor of the diseases that lurk in the shadows. Even if a thousand fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, I will not be harmed. I will only see with my eyes the punishment of the wicked. Because I have made the Lord my refuge, the Most High my dwelling place, no harm will befall me, no plague will come near my house. For He has commanded His angels to guard me in all my ways, they will lift me up in their hands, so that I will not strike my foot against a stone. And even if I encounter lions and serpents, I will not be afraid, for God is with me. He will deliver me from all evil and save me, because I know His name and trust in Him. When I call on Him, He will answer me and be with me in difficult times. He will give me a long life and show me His salvation so that I may praise and glorify Him forever. Lord my God and my Father, God the Creator of the heavens and the earth, Jehovah Rapha, God who heals, Jehovah Jireh, God of provision, Jehovah Shalom, God of peace, Jehovah Elohim, the God who is in control of everything, my God, under the prayer of Psalm 91, I come to ask you at this moment to break all the chains in this person's life, all the chains in their spiritual life, all the chains in their family life, all the chains in their financial life, all the chains in their health. May all the chains be broken and fall to the ground at this moment of prayer. O oh, Almighty God, I ask you, send a mighty angel Send an angel with a drawn sword to this person's house, so that, my God, all the actions of the enemy, all evil actions over this person's house may be broken. Break every action of the enemy, in the form of fights, in the form of marital disputes, in the form of cooling of the marriage, in the form, my God, of works of curse, 
in works of tribulations, in works of addiction. Touch now with your power, so that this person's house may now be, my God, covered by your blood, that it may be covered by an anointing of protection, because your word says in Psalm 91, no harm will befall you, and no plague will come near your tent. My God, every curse around this home, may it be broken and fall to the ground at this moment of prayer. My God, every work that has been raised against this life, under the power of the prayer of Psalm 91, I declare it broken. Every work, written, buried, or cast to the wind, spoken by the mouth of someone who wants to see harm come to this person. At this moment of prayer, I am declaring it to fall to the ground. My God, all the illnesses that have afflicted this life through some evil being, through some spirit of infirmity, as your word says, the arrow, my God. Psalm 91 speaks of it. Arrows of infirmities are broken now by your power. Arrows of disease, now, by the power of the prayer of Psalm 91, I declare them to begin to fall to the ground. I declare them to retreat. I declare, under the blessing of this prayer, that all the infirmities in this body begin to vanish, begin to disappear. Almighty Father, Psalm 91 says that you would deliver us from snares. So my God, I ask you now, deliver this person from all snares, from all the enemy's traps. My God, deliver the house, deliver the family, deliver this person, my God. Deliver them from the evil man, from the snare of the bloodthirsty man. Deliver this person, my God, from stray bullets, from assaults, from accidents, my Father, on the road, that when leaving home, angels accompany this person in their departure and arrival, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare that this person will not stumble. I declare that this person will not fall. I declare the blessing of Almighty God upon this life. Now, raise your right hand. Raise your right hand, please. I want you to repeat these words with me again. You will repeat with words, or you will repeat mentally. Pray with me like this. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. He says of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust, for He will deliver me from the snares and from dangerous diseases. He will cover me with His wings, and under them I will be safe. His truth is my protection. I will not be afraid of the dangers of the day or the night, nor of the diseases that lurk in the shadows. Even if a thousand fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, I will not be harmed. I will only see with my eyes the punishment of the wicked. Because I have made the Lord my refuge, the Most High my dwelling place, no harm will befall me, no plague will come near my house. For He has commanded His angels to guard me in all my ways. They will lift me up in their hands, so that I will not strike my foot against a stone. And even if I encounter lions and serpents, I will not be afraid, for God is with me. He will deliver me from all evil and save me, because I know His name and trust in Him. When I call on Him, He will answer me and be with me in difficult times. He will give me a long life and show me His salvation, so that I may praise and glorify Him forever. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the honor, and the glory today, tomorrow, and forevermore. May you say amen and give thanks to God. You take possession of this prayer? I'm sure you do. And I want to tell you that all the blessings contained in Psalm 91 are now upon you, upon your house, upon your family. 
I repeat again, if you can, if you're able, listen to this prayer for seven days. Seven is God's number. It's the number of perfection. If you can, on this channel, search for this prayer of Psalm 91 and listen for the next seven days. It will be very good. Then, you will share your testimonies here in the comments, which I know will be many. I also ask that you send this prayer to your family, to your friends. How many people now need the great blessings of victory and protection from Psalm 91 in their lives? Send it to your friends, family, all of them will be greatly blessed. I would also like you to follow our channel. If you don't know us yet, I'd like you to get to know us. Follow our channel. Also, let us know if you've listened to the prayer of Psalm 91 and what you felt. May God bless you greatly and powerfully. Until next time.